come on is it focusing it probably ain't focusing hey guys what's up welcome back it is time for me to share what i have been loving and i have quite a good mix today i have beauty products i have a snack i have coffee i have just random stuff that i've been loving so let's get into it i want to share my favorite coffee with you guys i am a huge coffee drinker y'all know this if you watch my channel you know hot coffee iced coffee any coffee give it to me but i want to share this one with you guys i received this package in pr a couple of months ago and i'm just like i've recently been drinking the coffee it's um black and bold specialty coffee this is the whole bean one so but the one i've been drinking i put it i emptied it in this canister that i got from target how cute is this you have a little spoon that you can scoop the coffee out. But yeah, this one is the ground coffee and this is actually a black owned business. I did not know that. But yeah, I've been enjoying this, you guys. I like how it's not too strong. Now, when it comes down to coffee, it, okay, this might sound weird, but I like for my iced coffee to be strong, but my black coffee to not be strong. Does that make any sense? <laughs> but um, the one that I'm drinking, I think is the, this is the uh, the dark roast, but I think this one that's in here is the medium roast. I wanna say it's a medium roast, but it's so freaking good, you guys. But I just wanna share that, y'all, cause I've been loving it, I've been drinking it. And the way I've been making my um, hot coffee is with this right here. How stinking cute. You can get this off of Amazon, you can get it off of Target. Um, I wanna say Walmart has these too. But this makes uh, three cups. Only thing I don't like about it though is I have to add water every time I finish up the cup because the water, whatever water I put in here, that's only enough for one cup. But you're able to still use the coffee, that, like the ground coffee that's in here to make two more cups and it still doesn't taste, like it doesn't, it still tastes good. But yeah, that's how I've been making my coffee and this brand is really, really, really good. So random, but this has been my go-to snack. This and chips and guacamole. But if I ever have a sweet tooth, these granola cups, it's the Nature Valley granola cups, um, the almond butter. Girl, I got one left. So I'm gonna go ahead, and, well, I'm gonna eat this after I get done filming, but oh yeah, let me show you how they look. So yeah, they're just little almond cups and they're so good. So freaking good. It's 170 calories. Um, it's just a good little snack you know if you ever have like a little sweet tooth and you like almond butter and they do have little almonds sprinkled on top so if you like almonds if you like almond butter if you like granola try these try them they're so freaking good i have to mention my vlogging camera you guys this is probably one of my favorite purchases like equipment purchases this thing right here is the sony zv1 now this was really hyped up in the beginning like when it first came out and then i was watching you know people's reviews on it watching tutorials on how to you know do all the things with the camera and i was kind of going back and forth with it whether or not you know if i should get it if i shouldn't get it um and i went ahead and got it you guys this thing is bomb especially now that i've been watching like tutorials on how to do the settings and how to get you know the settings on point this is is so much better in my opinion than the sony uh g7x that's the one that i was filming with well vlogging with y'all this camera is so freaking good i did put a extra lens on it just so that my um my screen well the frame can be wider but now that i have been watching tutorials and now that i have you know my camera set on different setting uh, different settings i don't need this because there is a certain setting on this camera where it makes the frame wider without having to get an extra lens but i'm gonna still keep it because i do like how it looks with this now it's not as wide as this wide angle lens but the settings it does make the frame look wider because when you first get this camera um it does look really cropped like the screen looks like how do i explain it it's it, it's it's close up <laughs> the frame is 
it's more cropped than the G7X. So there is a settings in this camera that will make the frame look wider. You just have to, um, you know, play with it. But if I can find the video that I was watching, I will have a link down below if you do have this camera and if you want your screen to look a little bit wider, well, your, you know, the frame to look wider, I will have the tutorial linked down below. But yes, love this thing. And I also like how I'm able to relax my arm when um, I'm holding the camera because y'all know when you're holding your vlogging camera, you're, you know, like this, your arm is extended and it can start hurting. So I usually kind of extend it like this and then kind of tilt the camera towards me and I can just hold it like this, just comfortably like this. And since the frame is so wide, it doesn't look like my freaking face is this close to the camera. So it does kind of look like I'm a little far away, but instead of having to do this, I can just be holding it comfortably like this, as long as, you know, the camera is, you know, tilted towards my face. But I like this thing. I've been enjoying it. I feel like I've talked way too much about this, so on to the next. Vanilla Sky Candle from Skylar. Put it in your cart right now. Like, just pause the video, put it in your cart. If you like vanilla, if you like, if you like your home to smell like you're walking in a coffee shop, just go ahead and put this in the cart. This is so sweet and cozy and warm like I want to get another one of these they sent this over to me but I actually want to purchase a couple of more for the fall time because this right here is so nice you guys so if you like the vanilla scents if you like that latte coffee type of scent I'm pretty sure you will like this so again it's the Skylar vanilla sky candle and I also have a fragrance which is the same scent i feel like the fragrance is not as strong as the candle um this is really like they smell the exact same but when i spray this on my body it's not as strong as the candle but it smells so freaking <coughs> it smells so good it smells so so good y'all so vanilla sky if you don't get anything from well if you have been wanting to try a, a fragrance or a candle from Skylar. And um, you can purchase this, of course, on their main website. And I also, yeah, Sephora has this too. So I would recommend Vanilla Sky, especially if you're into those sweet, warm, cozy scents, then I really think you will like um, Vanilla Sky. Um, since we're talking about, you know, fragrances, I want to whip out these two. I know I've mentioned this one already in maybe like a couple of my favorites in the past, but Ellis Brooklyn Fable. This has been my go-to everyday scent for the summertime it is so sweet and just ah, y'all i really wish that you guys can smell anything that i talk about on my channel like through the screen because i want y'all to smell this this actually went on sale the other day i don't think it's still let me see let me see if it's still on sale because i need to see fable Oh, dang, it's not on sale anymore. Sorry. But yes, one of my favorite everyday scents. It's sweet. It's a little florally. It's definitely... It just smells good, okay? It smells really, really, really good. And then this one that I actually shared with you guys in a Target haul is the... Um, it's called Island Waters Belize, Belize, Belize Coconut and the brand is called From Wilds. I don't like how this, well, I think this was like $18, I wanna say, and this is only one fluid ounce. It's really, really small, but y'all, this mixed with Fable and this mixed with Princess from Killian. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It is so freaking good. This is more of a sweet coconut scent, but it also kind of gives, I don't know, it reminds me something. I always, every time I smell this, I think about something in the past that I used to wear, like in the past, past, like high school days, <laughs> but it's so good. It is so freaking good. Oh, 
it's just a really fresh sweet scent and it's I feel like this just goes with anything that's vanilla and it definitely goes it pairs really well with fable so definitely been enjoying those two and of course the one from um, vanilla sky okay do you guys remember me talking and raving about the new Sol Genario body cream it comes in the pink jar I tried it out it was in the mini size and I went ahead and purchased the full size because I was obsessed with it and then they turned around and came out with the body spray this is a body spray and a hair um, hairspray well hair and body fragrance mist but y'all you can I mean it speaks for itself look at this I'm almost out of this stuff I took this on vacation with me so we have a little bit left this will definitely be going in my empties but this scent I'm so glad that they came out with the mist that was one thing I was hoping that they would do when they came out with the body butter and then they actually did it so y'all just go to Sephora because I don't want to keep saying go ahead and purchase it but go to Sephora if you have this in your Sephora, if you're able to um, spray it, give it a try and let me know what you think because this is one of, actually, I think this is the best scent that I've tried from Sol, Gener Sol, Sol Generio. <laughs> it's um, Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. Uh, it smells so freaking freaking good now I will say this does not last the body butter lasts but this scent like the spray doesn't really last as long as the body butter but if you put this on right after you put on a body lotion a body butter a body oil it will definitely last that's one thing about any fragrance if you just put the fragrance on without putting on any type of moisturizer on your body, then it's not gonna last as long. So make sure that you are moisturizing your body if you do wanna wear like a perfume or a body spray. So that way the body spray or the perfume can last, um, it can last longer on your body. All right, what else we got? We got, I got all this stuff just thrown out in front of me. Let's see, let's talk about this since we're on the subject of like fragrances. This is a room spray. y'all it's the heart and hand um with my ugh. it's the brand is heart and hand heart and hand and you can purchase this at target and this is meadow this and they had another one that i was gonna get but this one smelled so much better the other one was called um salt this is so nice and this actually lingers in the room you know some room sprays they could you know they don't really last but this this will linger in your room. I've been spraying this in the bedroom and also in the bathroom, and it's nice. They have a candle. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to get the candle. I have enough candles, y'all. <laughs> but this is nice. It is really, really nice. Probably one of, um, one of my favorite room sprays. No, I take that back because the one from Casalona um, from Target, it comes in a really skinny white tube i'll probably have it on the screen somewhere or just have it in the description but that one is the top the best room spray that i purchased from target that one will literally last all day in the room but this one is definitely second and the scent is so 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 nice so highly recommend this if you're wanting a um i didn't even tell y'all what it smelled like it smells citrusy and I don't really gravitate towards citrus scents, but this is, it's, it's one of those, but I feel like this is the type of citrus scent that I would want a home to smell like instead of, you know how some scents are like, I don't know, it smells like you just mop the floors. This is definitely not that. This is really, really nice and inviting and soothing. I just love it so much. All right, let's talk about some body care, a little bit of skincare, and then we'll go into some makeup. Let's talk about this oil. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. Now, the way I've been using this is putting it in my body butters and my body lotions. And I do that because it makes it last longer on my body. So whether that's um, Y'all remember me talking about the Summer Fridays body lotion, how I didn't like how it, you know, didn't last as long as I would want it to. I've been mixing this in with it and it definitely lasts longer on the skin. So if you 
feel like you have some body lotions or body creams in your collection and they don't last as long as as long as you want them to I would recommend putting um, mixing an oil in it now you don't have to go out and purchase this particular one I'm pretty sure that they have other ones in the drugstore but um, this is just one I, I just don't have any so I just wanted to try this out and I love it so I've been mixing this in with um, I actually have one right here to talk about it's the Soul Body um, Sparkling Mimosa Body Cream. Now this is actually good without this. Like I don't even need to mix this in with this because this has been everything, you guys. It's affordable and I'm almost out, <laughs> as y'all can see. I hauled this in one of my blogs a couple of weeks ago. So, so far I've been trying this out. I've been trying out the body lotion. I don't really like that. That body lotion really... It's actually similar to the Summer Fridays body lotion. So I've been mixing the body oil in with the body lotion because it doesn't really last as long on my body. But I haven't tried the body scrub yet and I haven't tried the um, the body wash yet. But this has been a favorite of mine. It smells like a coconut, like a vacation. Mm, it just smells so freaking good. So that's that. Um, Another product that I have been enjoying, this is very, very, very new to me because I've never tried any body masks. This is a body mask from Kapari. Guys, this is definitely one of those things that I didn't know I needed. Like a body mask, like what? Do I really need a body mask? How do you use a body mask? What are they for? <sighs> Y'all, if you want extra, let me just say how I use it because I don't want to say just use this and then you'll get, you know, extra, extra, extra smooth skin. But it does say that um, it does give you smooth skin, you know, once you use it. So the way I use this after I do my entire, you know, shower routine, if I'm exfoliating the skin, shaving my legs, you know, washing, putting on the body condition. This is when I have like all the extra time in the world <laughs> when I want to just have a full blown self care day or night. But I do all the things in the shower, you know, wash, body conditioner, exfoliate, shave, all of that. After I'm done with all of that, that is when I go in with this. And I've only used this on my legs and that's it. I have not used it anywhere else. Um, it does say that you can put this on um, it says treatment on your bo your booty, belly, back, boobs, or wherever you need it the most. I wanted to try it out first on the legs, so that's how I've been using it. And the reason why I, honestly, the reason why I do it on the legs is because you're supposed to leave this on for a few minutes. So when you get out the shower, you put this on and then you leave it on for, um, what does it say, up to five, ten minutes? Yeah, up to ten minutes. And I don't want to get back in the shower and rinse off my entire body so it, you have to rinse this off so that's why i've been putting it on the legs because i can easily just you know put my leg you know over the bathtub and just kind of rinse it off that way instead of having to get all the way back in the shower so this has been good on my legs very very good it leaves them feeling really smooth um i will try it out you know on other parts of my body but right now i actually like it best on the legs since you know it is summertime you know i'm wearing shorts and all that but um this is nice and this is how it looks when you open it up and a little bit of this goes a very 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 long way so it's like a pink um putty and it doesn't really have a scent now when i was using it i couldn't really smell it because you know the bathroom was already smelling like body wash you know all of that but I can't really smell it in the jar, but this is nice. If you wanna have that extra step in your body care routine, your self-care day, self-care night, and you just wanna have that extra, extra, extra step, then I would suggest getting a body mask, trying it out. I would definitely try it out on smaller areas of the body instead of putting it all over first, so that way you'll know if you like it or not, but yeah. I have been enjoying that. Let's quickly talk about skincare. Now, I haven't been doing a lot with my skincare products. I know I've mentioned this to you guys a couple of times. Um, so I kind of been, um, what's the word? Kind of staying away from a ton of different products and just sticking to what I know, sticking to what works, and just kind of keeping a 
a um, consistent routine with my night and my morning skincare routine. But I have been kind of dipping into new products here and there. So if I try a new product, it's usually one product and I just squeeze it in my routine. So I tried out this face wash and I remember sharing this with you guys in a Target haul. It's the Amy um, Naturally, uh, Naturally Kind Glow and Bright Illuminating Face Wash. I don't like it. I don't like this face wash, you guys. It doesn't even lather up. Like it's like putting on, um, how do I describe this? Once I put it on, like I would rub it in my hands first to try to at least get, you know, a good lather in and it does not lather at all. It's like putting on an oil on your, not an oil, but I don't know. It's just not, it just, it, I, I just don't like it at all so um and i like for my face washes to have a good lather to it i just feel like they're working that way if that makes sense <laughs> but i didn't like this i didn't like it at all it's not like mm, i can i cannot i can't explain it but i didn't like it i didn't like how it didn't lather up i didn't like the consistency of it i felt like my skin still needed to be washed. This is one of those products that I would need to go in more than two times to wash my face. Like the first time of me washing it, I feel I would feel like I need to go in again. And then after that, I would feel like I need to go in again to wash it. So not a fan of this. Um, and I got this, like I said, from Target. Now, this next product obsessed with you guys is the Verse Advanced Night Cream. This reminds me so much of the Fresh Youth Preserve Night Cream. Remember that one I was telling you guys about? Well, I showed it in my empties video and that thing is so freaking nice. But this is like, I mean, obviously the ingredients are way different, but this, the way it feels, the way it makes my skin look, the way my skin looks when I wake up, like this is nice. Um, it's a uh, recovery mode advanced night cream and you use it p.m. after cleaning and applying your serum. So this is the very, very, very last thing that I do. It's actually purple. So you just push it up like this and the product, I'm not gonna push it up right now, but the product is um, purple, but when you put it on your skin, you, you don't really see the color. It just, you know, kind of melts into the skin and it just makes the skin look really glossy and just, oh, I love it. I love, love, love this stuff. So since I ran out of my um, night cream I've been using this one and I'm actually almost out of this thing you guys I've been using this every single night so really really nice I haven't had any breakouts from it and I just like how my skin looks when I use this stuff so yeah the Versed recovery mode advanced night cream let's talk about hair products and then we will talk about some makeup which is not a lot because I've been not really dipping into a lot of makeup, you guys. <laughs> but it's a little bit there. So anyway, let's talk about the Sunday to Sunday Daily Nourishing Edge Oil. This, I've already shared this with you guys. Have I shared this in a favorites? I know, yeah, I think I have. Have I? I don't think I have. If I have, whatever, just know that it's good. This is what I put on my edges and I also put it on my scalp and I like it. I like the top on it. It's easy to apply. You just twist it and it opens and you just squirt it, you know, on your edges, on your, um, you know, your scalp, but I really like it. I like that it's not greasy, greasy. Like this is one of those oils that you can use daily if you want to and it doesn't it doesn't leave the hair feeling greasy or you know just ugh, all the things but this is nice this is really really nice to use and i've been enjoying it especially since i have um you know the braids in right now i've definitely been enjoying that and this bread hair cream i know i shared this recently in my sephora haul i started using this that night <laughs> I like this hair cream. Now, I don't know if, you know, it works for me. I know this is supposed to be worn, like, I know you're supposed to really put this on, like, damp hair or, you know, if you're wanting to style your hair. But being that I have the braids in, I don't know. But 
it worked. I like how it made my braids feel. I like how it made my roots feel. So the way I use this is I would take my finger and then I would actually put it in my like in the parts of my hair and then just kind of massage it in. And it does look white. It makes the hair look white once you start applying it. But once you massage, once I started massaging it in more, it, you know, just, you know, started disappearing. But I really like it. I like how it made my hair feel moisturized. Um, so this is what I've been using to keep my hair moisturized. And so that way it won't be, you know, dried out or anything like that. So definitely been enjoying this and I love 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 the bread hair oil you guys if you're wanting okay this this is nice too but if you want a really good hair oil that is gonna you know take away the frizz and also just make the hair look um glossy because that that's actually what they call it the glossy hair oil I want to say that that's what they call it but they have a really good hair oil and it smells really, really good. It actually smells just like the um, the hair cream. But yeah, this is um, an elastic bounce leave-in hair cream. So you can use this on wet hair, you can use it on dry hair. Um, and I will be using this once I take my braids out on my natural hair. But right now with the braids in, I haven't had any issues with it and I've just been happy with it. So yeah. Last thing before we talk about makeup, this is the Necessaire Hand Cream. And this is another product that I just shared in a um, Sephora haul. I actually need to put some of this on right now. Um, yeah, so hand creams. Love, 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 love a hand cream. This is actually um, fragrance free. So if you're on the hunt for a really good, thick, moisturizing hand cream that does not have a scent, this from Necessaire, is bomb very very good and it keeps my hands moisturized some hand creams uh -uh. <laughs> like you need to put on some more but this one will keep your hands moisturized for a good period of time so really really nice but yeah definitely been enjoying that now let's talk about some makeup so yeah makeup <laughs> i have y'all i don't know i just been liking like i just like the soft glam like everyday natural neutral look like this is my literally my signature look and every time i sit and do, like when i'm not okay when I'm not filming, like when I'm not doing tutorials or when I'm not even pulling out the camera, if I'm putting on makeup, this is usually what I do. So what you see here, and I have a tutorial on this entire look. Well, not the products that I have on my face right now, but the how it looks, I have an entire tutorial on that. So anyway, um, the products I've been using though, what I've been using recently, what I've been loving is the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I have this on right now and I only have the color, um, Scandal, no, Mother, this color right there. It's a light nude color. I just have it all over the lids and I really honestly didn't want to put on any eyeshadow today. I just wanted to keep it simple, but this kind of evened out the lids and it kind of gave me a little bit of, a little oomph to it, you know? But I really like this. I like the mattes in this palette. They are so, so buttery and smooth and easy to blend out. This is probably one of the best formulas in a matte shadow that I've tried. But yeah, really, really been enjoying that palette. Um, and this foundation, you guys. It's the Lancome Tint Idol Foundation. I use the shade uh, 500 Suede W. This is the foundation I've been using um, on the days when I just want to you know, do my face, but I don't want to film videos, but I still want to look cute. And if I'm running errands, but you know, I want to look cute and stuff like that. This is what I've been putting on the face. And I like how it is long wearing, you guys. This definitely lasts. This is what I have on today, actually. Yeah, I have this on today. Um, but yeah, this is a nice long wearing foundation. I know I'm kind of late with trying this out. I know I am. You guys are going to be like, girl, you're just not trying this foundation out. Yes, I'm just now trying this foundation out. I started using this three weeks ago, almost three weeks ago. Um, and I actually have a tutorial coming up 
using this foundation. So you guys will see the tutorial. Um, it's actually gonna be like a full face testing um, different products, but be on the lookout for that video. But yes, I have been enjoying this foundation. Love how it looks on the skin. I love how it wears on the skin. But yeah, it's one of those foundations that I would wear when I want something to last all day on the skin, to look good all day on the skin, something that's not gonna look cakey, something that's gonna look really soft and natural, as y'all can see. <laughs> so yeah, definitely been enjoying that. Um, oh, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. Y'all, I like this. So I was thinking about getting the shade after this, which is um, number eight. Oh, no, this is number eight, oops. This is number eight, but they have a shade after this that I thought would be better, but now that I've been using this, this has been, this is what I have on today, by the way. But yeah, now that I've been using this, this has definitely been working. Um, they had this shade and also the darker shade in my Target, so I went ahead and grabbed both of the shades. But I wanted to see how this looked before I actually purchased the shade after it, because like I said, I thought this may be too light for me, but this is, perfect like it is perfect 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 so definitely a good powder it does go on really sheer now I haven't tried this out by itself but um, just wearing it on top of the Lancome foundation and also um, I've been wearing it on top of my lip bar skin tint and I've also been wearing it with my uh, Revlon color stay foundation and all three of those it looks beautiful on top so really 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 love this elf cosmetics gave us bronzers y'all and i've already done an entire review on this i swatched this shade which is um sun kissed and i also swatched two other shades in that video but definitely one of my faves definitely one that i have been reaching for a lot this past month and currently right now i don't have it on today though but this is a nice, nice, nice bronzer. I like how the finish is. It's actually, it has argan oil in it, but it doesn't leave my skin looking too oily or greasy. And I like that I'm able to use it without having to set it. Um, but of course, if you want to set it, then you can. But I like it. If y'all want to see the review, like I said, I've already filmed it. It's already up on my channel. So yeah, the Sun Kissed Bronzer from e.l.f. Cosmetics bomb sephora has a concealer that has been so good for spot concealing and it's actually made for that it's the um acne treatment cream concealer and it actually has two percent salicylic acid in it so uh but this is what i have been using on my dark spots so i have um had some breakouts on my forehead and i've been doing the worst thing ever which is picking at them <laughs> which is so bad you guys don't ever 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 pick at breakouts um but this is something that i've been using on the dark spots and i actually use this with or without makeup so when i don't want to wear makeup i just put this on the dark spots blend it out with my finger and i'm good to go like i don't even have to put anything else on the face this does a great job with blending into my skin it's literally my perfect 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 shade Oh, the shade is Chai, by the way. This is how she looks. But once you blend it out, it blends perfectly into the skin, y'all. Perfectly. Like, I don't have to put anything else on. I don't even have to put on a powder. But sometimes I do. Sometimes I go over, um, I go over it with the Dior powder, no powder, since that's like a really um, sheer powder. But look, it don't even look like I put anything on my hand because it blends out perfectly. But yeah, this is specifically for spot concealing because it does have that salicylic acid which is going to help with dark spots and acne and all of that so this is what i have I actually have this on today i have it on under the makeup i just have it on my forehead i have um i think i put it like right here somewhere over here whatever but definitely been enjoying that do you guys remember me talking about this lawless lip plumper it's the forget the filler lip plumping gloss there is a lip plumper at Sephora that is literally the same as this. I ended up, you can see that I pretty much finished this up, but I ended up repurchasing this because, I mean, this was at the time my favorite, favorite, favorite lip plumper. But y'all, this right here is the Sephora um, Outrageous 
plumping gloss and this is in the shade one this is literally the same thing it's just cheaper but yes one of the best lip plumpers it feels cold on the lips so if you don't like that tingly feeling this is not gonna do that um but it's honestly the same thing the same freaking thing they both have this like they feel the same they look the same they have the same pinky clear like they look exactly the same so there is the one from sephora and then this one from lawless if i can scrape some out this is gonna be in my empties video i have some empties for you guys so be on the lookout for that coming up but literally the same y'all so if y'all were ever wanting the lawless one but you didn't want to pay that much for it i mean i'm pretty sure this is like a few dollars less but it's still cheaper than lawless but these are literally literally the same they smell like they have sephora has that yeah it has like a really faint minty scent and then the one from lawless which i kind of forgot let me see yep they're the same y'all <laughs> the same i just wanted to share that with y'all because these are good from sephora they have other colors but this one right here is the just the regular clear one I'm going to put a little bit on right now. Let me just take it off my hand because I just want a little bit of shine on the lips. Mm. Feels so good. I just like that cold, that cold feeling on the lips. It just feels nice. But yeah, I just want to mention that because they're bomb. And if y'all can, like, if I can find something that's cheaper, than one of my favorite products, then I am so here for sharing it with you guys. But yeah, the Sephora, um, dang it, <laughs> the Sephora Outrageous Gloss in the shade number one. I'm gonna have all the products in the description anyway. Um, what I have on my lips, cause I'm pretty sure some of you gonna be asking. <laughs> the Gucci Lipstick, this is in the shade Stone. This is an everyday type of color. It's really, really sheer, so the way I've been wearing it is putting on a liner first and then going on top of it. Um, let me show you. I have the, see how sheer it is? Like, you can barely see it. I have the Elf Cosmetics Retro Paradise liner in the shade Nude 3 on the lips. But this is how she looks swatched. Really, really sheer. It is a little bit of a glossy finish. But let me see if I can give you guys a closer look of the color. There we go. There, ooh, ooh. Come on. Is it focusing? It probably ain't focusing, but yeah. That's how that looks. And that's um, what's on the lips because I know there's gonna be at least one person in the comments asking what is on my lips. We're down to the last 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 thing i think yeah girl i have everything just thrown out in front of me but this from kapari this is the stary eye balm now i've had this for a good minute because they sent like they sent over a ton of products and i've just been slowly you know dipping into my collection and trying out things that i feel like i might like or that i just want to try out because they're there but this is if there we go i tried to open it up it's an eye balm. This is very, uh, how many times have I said this is, this is, this is. <laughs> but it's really different to me. Like the eye creams that I've been using, I've been using the ones from Fresh. Um, this is more of a, like it says, it's an eye balm. It, it's like a gloss. I don't want to say gloss, but when I don't put on makeup, on the days when I'm just, you know, doing computer work or just not filming anything, this is what I put on my eyes. So I would say this is my morning. This goes into my morning skincare routine because at night I use the fresh eye cream, but this is what I put on when I'm, you know, after I get done washing my face, doing my little quick morning routine. So I just put it under the eyes and I also kind of put it on top. And it doesn't look this glossy. You have to like really tap it in, rub it in. But I like it. I like, I like it. So, <laughs> um, and I'll show you guys. I actually have a good dent into the product. So you can see that I've been using quite a good bit of it. But I really, really like it, you guys. 
I don't know, it's something about it. It's really hydrating on the eyes and I don't know, I just like it. So, and it's just been fun to just put it in my routine. So I just wanted to share that, but that's it. <laughs> that is all that I have for my favorites. Let me know if I shared anything in this video that you guys have tried or if you guys have been loving products um, what are the products you've been loving? Let me know. Let's talk about it down below in the comments, but that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.